So what is uh, pulsed radio frequency to the ganglion of impar? Um, well, this is a type of minimally invasive pain management procedure and it's used for patients who have significant pelvic pain, um, certainly lower pelvic pain or deep pelvic pain, um, where a lot of other treatments, for example, medications have been ineffective uh, or that patients have had a lot of adverse effects, side effects to the medication uh, and then we've moved on to uh, these minimally invasive pain management procedures. Now, the ganglion of impar, if we look at the lower part of the spine, uh, we have the lumbar spine going down here, and then at the bottom we have the sacrum, and right at the bottom we have the coccyx, a sort of sitting bone people refer to it, and there is a junction between the coccyx and the sacrum, and there's a membrane there, the sacrococcygeal membrane, if we look on the undersurface um, of uh, the junction between these two structures, um, there's actually a couple of little what we call ganglia. This is called the ganglion of impar, spelt I-M-P-A-R. This is what's referred to as a sympathetic ganglion. And a ganglion is, is basically just a collection of nerves. Uh, these are a collection of nerves uh, in this particular anatomical location. Now, if patients uh, do have deep, deep pelvic pain and are going to have this procedure, we bring them in uh, to hospital as a day case. The procedure can either be done under ultrasound guidance or uh, x-ray guidance. And essentially, we identify this sacrococcygeal ligament. And there are many ways of doing the procedure. Uh, you can go underneath the coccyx in order to reach it with a with a, a tiny probe, radio frequency probe, or the approach that um, increasingly people are using is to actually go straight through the sacrococcygeal membrane to the other side um, and then apply pulsed radio frequency directly uh, to the ganglion of impar. As with all procedures, there are benefits and risks. The benefits are pain relief takes approximately 10 to 14 days to work, sometimes less, sometimes more. Risks, uh, failure, local bleeding, bruising, infection, discomfort, they're all minimal. Uh, you may get some numbness, weakness, pins and needles afterwards for a few hours. About one in 2,000 people may have a nasty headache after the procedure. Um, but beyond that, generally patients will come in, have the procedure done, uh, and they're ready to go home within a couple of hours of the end of the procedure. In terms of uh, the uh, benefit profile, as with all procedures, you're looking at approximately 60 to 65% chance of success of reducing the pain by at least 40% for at least six to nine to 12 months.